Good day! For today's vlog, we are going to make the water rocket to observe the effect of the different angles of release on the height of a projectile. But before we start, let us define first what is a water rocket. Jasper, do you have an idea what's a water rocket? I think I have an idea, Fatima. A water rocket is a type of model rocket using water as its reaction mass. The water is forced out by a pressurized gas, typically compressed air. So, when we release a water rocket, it will make a parabolic shape. Thanks for the information, Jasper. Now that we already know what is a water rocket, let's now identify the materials needed to make a water rocket. Tyrone, can you mention the materials that we need? So, here are the materials. 5 pieces of 5 inches long PVC tube, 2 pieces of 2 inches long PVC tube, 2 pieces of PVC tea, 3 pieces of 45 degrees PVC elbow, 3 pieces of PVC end cups, cork, 2 meters of clear PVC vinyl tube of about 1 fourth in diameter, a tire air pump, and a water bottle. Thank you, Tyrone. Now, we must know what are the procedures to make a water rocket. Let's jump to the next part of this vlog. Jasper, can you please tell us the process of how to build a water launcher? Sure, Fatima. Here are the procedures to make a water rocket. First, we have to assemble the frame. And after that, we have to connect the clear PVC vinyl tube to the PVC tee with a hole. The same process for the cork. Then attach the cork to the opening of the water bottle. For our experiment, we launched the water rocket at different angles to observe the effect of the angle of release on the height and range that the rocket can reach. We released first the water rocket at an angle of 25 degrees. Next was 45 degrees. Then 70 degrees. As we observed, the water rocket which was released at an angle of 70 degrees obtained the highest maximum height among the three and has the shortest range observed. Overall, the angle of release affects the maximum height that a projectile can reach. <laughs> 